Welcome to Primary YPWW, Lesson 10. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is testifying Jesus Christ. Our lesson scripture is coming out of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 11. And that reads, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. The memory verse for today's lesson is Acts chapter 25, verse 23. And on tomorrow, when Agrippa was come, and Bernice, with great pomp, and was entered into the place of hearing, with the chief captains and principal men of the city, at Festus's commandment. Paul was brought forth. The target for today's lesson. The Lord wants his children to have faith and courage in hearing Paul's testimony of Jesus Christ. Paul was put in prison for testifying about Jesus Christ. Festus, the governor of Judea, invited King Agrippa to hear Paul's testimony. He was not the one who put Paul in prison. The previous governor, Felix had, but Festus did not know what to do about it. So one day he had Paul brought to the place of hearing, the courtroom. There King Agrippa, his sister Bernice, and all the city's chief captains and principal men would hear Paul testifying of Jesus Christ. Festus explained to the king that Paul had committed nothing worth, worthy of death. Festus said, he appealed the Caesar, but I do not know what to write. How can I send him? It is unreasonable to send a prisoner and not reveal any crimes against him. So Agrippa agreed to hear Paul's testimony. Paul started testifying, but he was not sad. He said, I am happy, King Agrippa. And that's Acts chapter 25, verses 22 through 27. Acts chapter 25, verses 22 through 27. And that reads, Then Agrippa said unto Festus, I would also hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, thou shalt hear him. And on the morrow, when Agrippa was come, and Bernice, with great pomp, and was entered into the place of hearing, with the chief captains and principal men of the city, at Festus's commandment, Paul was brought forth, and Festus said, King Agrippa, and all men which are here present with us, you see this man about whom all the multitude of the Jews have dealt with me, both at Jerusalem and also here, crying that he ought not to live any longer. But when I found that he had committed nothing worthy of death, and that he himself hath appealed to Augustus, I have determined to send him of whom I have no certain thing to write unto my Lord. Wherefore, I have brought him forth before you, and specially before thee, O King Agrippa, that after examination had I might have somewhat to write. For it seemeth to me unreasonable to send a prisoner, and not withal to signify the crimes laid against him. Paul confirmed that he had been a strict Pharisee. He followed the law. He even punished many Jews for their testimony of Jesus. Paul added how he met Jesus for himself. Jesus saved and healed him. Jesus told him where to go and sent him to preach the truth to the lost. Paul was told to help the people turn from Satan and follow God. Many repented and were forgiven of their sins. Paul did not disobey God. 
he traveled first to Damascus and gave his testimony. Then he went to Jerusalem and Judea. Finally, he preached to the Gentiles. He testified of Jesus being the true Christ. He told them to repent, turn to God, and live holy. Paul added that he had only confirmed what was already written in the Law of Moses about Christ. Agrippa replied that Paul had almost convinced him to be a Christian. The questions for today's lesson, and you can get help from a grown-up or a parent or a guardian to answer the questions and to search the scriptures. Question 1. Who put Paul in prison? Why? Why did Festus want King Agrippa to hear Paul? Question 2. What cities did Paul visit to tell of Jesus? Question 3. Was Paul happy or sad to testify of Jesus? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.